So today I've got Bitcoin here on the daily and um, as expected, uh, Bitcoin's price is to try and refill or reclaim the supply and fill this trading area, just like it always does in the past. Once there's a gap, price wants to fill that trading area before it decides to go further. So if we now take this and move this into the future, this is what we've been waiting for price to get into this zone and start filling that area. Now, if we take a deep breath and a little step back, just to make sure that we don't lose our minds thinking that Bitcoin's going to go to 100K within the next week or so, we also need to understand that this is the bearish view that a lot of people have in the back of their mind that might be causing a little doubt. Now, what is that? Well, if you look at price uh, on the weekly time frame, you can see that, uh, and we go over to the line tool, you can see that price is doing what's making a higher high as the RSI is not following that just yet. Now, this for me personally, as I said to you guys, don't look at this as reversal patterns because normally bearish divergence, these reversal patterns. But in the current market sentiment that we find ourselves, look at this as a bullish sign because everything above this is by the dip territory. So anything from where we are now up to 44K a BTC is a really good buy zone. And this was supported by the point and figure chart that I shared with you guys. I gave you the buy at 40K, 48K when we went to 50 the first time round. And as you can see, we are about to start filling the gap between 52 and 56K. So I see more upside for BTC. So BTC on the daily time frame, just to conclude, if you look at everything there, is on its way to about 56, 57K. And how high and how far and for how long it's going to chop within this range, I don't honestly know. But I do know that one good turn deserves another. So when you have insanely fast momentum like this, at some stage, common sense has to re-enter the market. And the way that that does is by grinding sideways or looking for a shakeout. So for now, we are probably just going to start climbing this ladder a little bit and start grinding sideways. So just prepare for that. Okay. Then when we look at the total market caps for BTC, you can see that Bitcoin is almost at all-time high territory. But when you look at a market cap like the total three, which then takes everything but takes Bitcoin and Ethereum out of the picture, you can see that there's still a lot of gains to be had, which tells us that if we start buying alts now, alts that might not look as popular and, um, and have the same performance pedigree that some of the ones like Solana, uh, that's already gone up like crazy, uh, memes like bonk and, and those things have, um, when this starts gaining the same momentum as Bitcoin has, those will be the ones that makes the multiplier. Multiplier, And the difference between a 100x coin and a 1000x coin is sometimes a month or a week for that matter. That's how crazy these things can be. Okay, now CME gap wise, we know that there's a potential for a retest of 48k. So if that happens, don't get scared. Don't get caught unaware. These gaps tend to get filled. We're moving into the weekend. So weekend, we could gap up a little bit further. And then Monday, we might open extremely bearish just to come and reclaim that. Just like any normal healthy retrace would do. Let's go over to the next job. So if you look at BTC, and uh, let's forget about the RSI real quick, macro views. We know this. This is this is our in our sanity meter. I need to maybe brand these screens. My sanity meter. What does this mean? Well, simply put, we kind of need to make sure that we know when to be bullish and when to be bearish. The right time to be really bullish and the right time to be really bearish. Because making money in a bull market is very easy, guys. As a lot of you will probably know um, that was participating in the previous bull cycle. Keeping it though is a completely different. Um, you know, problem. And uh, and that's why the sanity chart is so important. So Bitcoin was founded 2009, roughly, give or take. And then the first halving was in 2012, four years in. And from that initial price, first block, it created an all-time high. That all-time high was recorded around $40. And then it kind of died out, back down. So you have a bull market, you've got a bear market within crypto. And then from that point onwards, we go past the halving. Now, the halving normally accelerates price ex extremely fast. Why? Because there's a supply shock in the market. Less coins get produced. Same or equal demand means price needs to go up and go and find a new all-time high. And then from previous all-time high to uh, the, the current one, this will normally be referred to as price discovery. 
So we don't know how high it's going to go. We just know that at this stage, people are going to keep buying until they say, I cannot afford this anymore. And that's what happens at all-time high season. And then the whole thing repeats itself. So this is what we call a trend because it's done this once, twice, three times, and we're betting on it's going to do it a fourth time. Okay, so what do we need to look for? Well, simple. The easiest tool you can use is the time-based FIP tool because we want to kind of identify when to stop being bullish. So if you take it from the inception to the creation, and we put the golden ratio FIP numbers in. Now, for trading, the golden ratio is your 38.2 and your 618. And you move that from halving to halving. You'll find that roughly around the 38.2 level, that's when the, the bull market stops, okay? And around the 618 level, that's when the bear market bottoms. If we move that over to the next halving, you're going to find exactly the same. Bull market top, bear market bottoms, okay? And if you do the same there, bull market tops, let's make the screen bigger if you don't believe me. Let's do that. Bull market tops, bear market bottoms. Now, the thing with FIB levels is, it's an emotional cycle. It's an emotional ratio of how we perceive price. It's an emotional of how we perceive beauty, music, and, 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 and. Everything is based on this. It's hardwired in us. So if we know that every four years there's roughly going to be a halving, and we move this on, what are we getting? We have a green zone, a green zone that tells us the next halving is a few months away, and from that point onwards, we can realistically expect the trend to last till at least November 2025. So there's still a lot of time for us to get those good projects. So there's going to be a lot of pumps. There's going to be a lot of dumps, guys. So you need to subscribe because I will be taking this journey with you on the way to where that is. Do your huddle bag a favor and subscribe today. Double down, hit that like and notification icon, and let's get charting. Now, Token Metrics is our AI partner. They've got a nice inbuilt model in, in, so, in inside that looks at the uh, entire performance of the, the stock market and generates these signals for you to kind of help you navigate your sentiment. And for a while now, it was flickering bearish. And recently now, it's flickered back to bullish. So this is really good. And what it also does, it tells you, and let's get back to three months, the percentage of coins in relation to the total market cap that is bullish. And at the moment, you can see that everything is kind of getting into movement. Everything's getting into harmony. And this is really nice because what this means is that the fear and greed index is going to start staying in this greedy zone. And that's that secure feeling that everybody likes to use to buy dips. Now, something interesting. If we have a look at what Bitcoin is doing, Bitcoin has been moving and trending up in the search history. So everybody's talking BTC, BTC. And I can guarantee you that Bitcoin is not for, isn't followed uh, by Bitcoin dumping. It's followed by Bitcoin spot ETF. Okay. Now, Solana. If you have a look at Solana, which is the red line, you can see that Solana's graph is currently relatively flat. ETH is still the alt leader regardless. And it's showing up to us now in the fact that the Google search terms slowly but surely picking up. And what happens if it starts picking up? More people are going to take notice of it. The new product oracles or anything that's on the Ethereum network is going to start gaining value. And, uh, and we need to be in it. The real thing about a trader and investor is to try and identify something that has good value, that's undervalued. So for somebody looking at it face value, it looks like a bad deal. That's when you buy so that you can get in early enough to get that multiplier. So when everybody else changes their mind, you're the one sitting pretty. Let's quickly have a look at Prime. Um, go to services, free trial. Click on your Prime link. Fund with $2,000. And then do what? Go over to the claim section. Send me. It's going to create a private chat channel. Send me your email address after you've done that. Once it's verified from Prime, I will upgrade your access to unlock the crypto investing channels, the crypto trading channels, the crypto harmonic bot, and so forth. So you'll have access to all these things. You can come trade live with me on Wednesdays. You can chat leverage. We talk everything we want to do. We can look at all the investment projects. 
when are we going to buy, how are we going to buy, and so forth and so forth. So you can get in on these things. Do your huddle bags a favor, guys, and do that today. You've got the whole weekend to get that set up. Um, so, yeah, do that. So if you click on the link, you need to go to the page needs to look like this. I get a lot of people that actually get the link and then they click on the wrong page or something. You need to go to this page where the deposit bonus and our logos on there and then you should be good. Right, though, guys, that's everything from my side. Um, maybe a little stats. Let's maybe do a little bit of stats. It's weekend after all. I'm going to log in real quick to the um, bots back end that keeps tabs of everything that happens in there. So the crypto pairings, this was all the trades that the bot generated in the Discord from Tuesday up until Friday. Okay. Uh, how does these trades look? I'm going to show you real quick crypto bot setups. So they pop out with a little notification like that. Tells you where to buy, tells you a TP and your stop loss. Stop loss. This is all automated. So it keeps tabs of what gets hit first after the buy is triggered. TP1 or stop loss. Okay. Then it records that and it gives us data at the end of the week. So there was six patterns or 15 patterns called for the for the week. Nine of them were successful. Six of them was, was unsuccessful. So the butterfly wouldn't have done well. But ultimately, 60% success, um, success ratio for the week. If you look at Cypher, 83% and the two bat patterns obviously is 100%. Times when they get called, everything like that. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, guys. So if you want to have access to this, it's very simple. All you need to do is open your account, let me know, and be in the Discord. Alternatively, you can actually just go and subscribe. Click on that link, and it will take you to the subscription page, and you're done. Guys, have a lovely weekend. Um, I've got a giveaway that I completely forgot as well. In the video description, Kingfisher... Um, has given me 50 accounts that I can give away for you guys. All you need to do in the video description is go open your Kingfisher account with that promo code that's in there, and they will give you a pro account, 50 pro accounts with a week worth of access. So you can track the liquidity with me. I use Kingfisher to track liquidity, see where there's, um, you know, little gaps where price is going to want to push towards, where there's stops and promises to buy or sell, and there's also interesting, interesting, really good, nice heat map tools. Now, for today, we kind of ran out of time. I would love to dive into this and dissect this and lay this into how significant it is and how it plugs into this. But go and familiarize yourself with this over the weekend. It's completely free. Go and familiarize yourself so that Monday we can look at this and you can track and see how, pro how, how powerful liquidation maps are especially when you start, when you want to start trading a little bit more aggressive on this. All right. Bike climb. Can you give your opinion on Ari, on Mexi? Buddy, I would love to do it now. We, we, we're out of time, but let's leave that for the Discord or for Monday on YouTube. You guys have a lovely weekend. And remember, as always, keep hustling, my friends.